Hi, Singles Collective, and welcome back, Scorpio. Today, I'll be channeling messages focusing on your past, recent past, present energy, and what energy is coming for you in the future in regards to love. But before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers, and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. Continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages all right single uh scorpio let's take a look here at what went on here in your past or recent past let me move these out the way let's find out here what happened in your past and recent past in regards to your love life and then we're gonna look at your present and then your future energy all right, Scorpio, first card that we have here. Now, please note this deck says she for every single card. This is not a gendered reading, so I am going to substitute the word she for the one who. Okay, so here we have the one who resists. Okay, there was a fearlessness here in your past, your recent past. Okay, I feel here that there were things here that you were feeling in your past or recent past that you felt were justified some of you uh you know if you see here she has like well i don't need to describe it you could kind of see what's going on here in her hand and i feel that there's this sense of having to defend uh yourself in the past or recent past now i feel here with this uh energy from this card that it was justified so there were things that either you, you know, had to say, do, or get away from in regards to this energy from your past or recent past. Now, this could be in a past connection, past ex, past spouse, but, you know, whichever of those resonate with you, the person that you were in this connection in the past or recent past, you felt that there was a bit of a resistance, okay? So either you were feeling one way, they were feeling another, or there, for some of you, uh, you were trying to leave the situation, but it was a little bit difficult, a little bit taxing, because it was, a, a, you know, it wasn't an easy flow type of energy here in your past or recent past. I feel here that a lot of you uh, had a justified reason to feel this way and to feel that you wanted to exit, uh, divorce, separate, or break up in this relationship here in the past or recent past, okay? Let's take a look here at what else is coming through for you here in your, okay, here in your past or recent past. We have here soul connection and we also have here confusion. There were a lot of differences, as I said before, okay, so I'll leave this one here, but I feel here that there were, like I said before, there were a lot of differences, there, were, there was a bit of a resistance. I feel here for some of you, at the beginning of this uh, relationship here, in your past or recent past, it may have felt as if, you know, you were in love, they were in love, things look great, okay, but as time went on, things unraveled, okay? And you ended up, you know, being in a situation where you felt that this was not the same person that you started the relationship with, okay? A lot of differences started popping up. And there were things here that may have been said, done, okay? For some of you, you may have been stabbed in the back, okay? Especially here with uh, this uh, uh weapon here this knife that she has in her hand you may have been stabbed in the back by deception lack of transparency okay in your past or recent past um but there were definitely differences that you felt that you needed to guard yourself against okay let's take a look here uh single scorpio what else happened here in the past or recent past now this deck that i just shuffled i'm gonna cut it once and then i'm gonna continue the entire reading so starting to look here at your past or recent past you have the strength okay so you really try to hold on to your inner mental emotional spiritual strength here like i said before everything started to look 
great at the beginning. There was an ace of pentacles here. Okay, so there's an ace of pentacles. This was uh, some type of everything really looked great. There was like a new beginning. Uh, things really uh, seemed like they they were stable for a while. Okay, there was a lot of hard work here with the seven of pentacles, a lot of focusing on the future, putting in the commitment, the dedication, the effort and the growth here in the relationship. But then guess what? A tower moment happened here. And this tower moment was the aha moment where the differences could no longer be avoided here, Scorpio. You had to wake up from what you thought was a soul connection here. And that's the reason why you started in this uh, card here, in this energy of the one who resists. There were moments here that you just, you know, tried to resolve. You tried to make it work. You put in the work. You had the heart, the effort, okay? Especially here with the seven of pentacles, there was some type of commitment and focus on working on this, but the tower appeared. There was an unexpected disruption here in your past or recent past in regards to love that you needed to wake up and in a way kind of like wake up and smell the coffee, your aha moment. And that's the moment that you decided to, you know what, leave this uh, connection here at all costs. All right, let's take a look here, single Scorpio. What's going on right now in your current energy in regards to your love life? So for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, look down below, down here, and hit that subscribe button so that you can be part of the Lexa Tarot family. And let's take a look here. Right now, at this moment in time, single Scorpio, you have the one who battles. There's this sense of strength. There's this sense of justice. You want justice to be served in this last connection that you had, okay? Or... For others of you, you want the fairness, okay? Something here in your past or recent past wasn't fair, okay? And you are committed to make sure that you continue to do the things that you need to do here in your love life, but you're also committed to fighting, uh, to, uh, to not fighting and like fighting, fighting, but fighting and to stand up for yourself, okay? That's how it's coming across, okay? There's this person who... Um, is carrying here the sword. Now, the sword is all about the mind, okay? The mind and communication. I feel here, and it's very interesting, you have a, a knife in the first one and a sword in the next. So there's this sense of being very clear-minded right now, knowing exactly what you want, speaking up your truth, and allowing karma, allowing fate, allowing the universe to really bring justice to your love life. Let's take a look here. More information. Right now, there are moments where uh, you may still be healing from this past or recent past. There may be moments here, memories that may surface. And that's what causes you to, in a way, move in a very cautious manner here in regards to your love life, okay? So there is this sense of caution. There is this sense of, you know what, if I need to defend myself, if I need to stand up for myself even more than what I'm doing right now at this moment in time, I will do it, okay? Because in your eyes, it's justified. You've gone through a lot in your past or recent past. You don't want to have to go through these uh, situations here um, in your from your past or recent past. And there's this brave energy. There's this energy of being fierce, of really standing uh, for what you believe in and not allowing anyone to... I mean, what's coming across is if, if it even resembles, if there is any type of energy or resemblance to what you came out from, from this tower moment, it's like you're not having it. That's how it's coming across, okay? Let's take a look here at more information here in your current energy. So you have here the magician. So right now at this moment in time, Scorpio, you are manifesting. You are trying to manifest all that you need as far as not need, need, but all that your focus is here in regards to your love life, okay? You have what it takes. So you don't need anything. 
you have all the tools and that is what the magician energy is all about the magician has all the tools and resources in order to make that manifestation happen okay now what's very interesting here is that i did a reading for scorpio and you guys could take a look at that in the video section where your blessing scorpio for the month of july is the fact that you can manifest so very interesting here if you haven't taken a look at it go up in the video section and take a look at that but yeah this is telling me here that you guys have what it takes you don't need anything okay you may want a relationship okay but you don't need anything to make it happen because you have all the tools you have the inspiration the motivation here with the wands you have the heart and the emotion here with the cups energy pentacles energy is all about the stability so there is some type of stability in your life right now uh perhaps in your career finances and such that really allow you to feel that you are where you need to be in regards to that sector of your life you have the clear mind here with the sword the clarity of the mind and the clarity of communication in order to say what you need to say and uh create you know this manifest uh, manifestation this energy that you can here in your love life now what's going on right now well some of you are waiting okay three of wands energy three of wands energy is all this passion and this all, all this motivation but it's also about taking a moment to really see when the right opportunity is for you to strike for you to move forward uh in a connection or in a friendship or in love in regards to your love life okay so the three of wands yes there is this inspiration there is this type of uh, go-getter energy because the wands is all about that fire energy, but it's also about having to wait for the right time in order to go and uh, begin something new, okay? Now, you guys are looking for stability. That's the reason why you're waiting, okay? You're waiting to see that stable energy, okay, between you and someone who is compatible with you. Unlike in the past, where there were a lot of differences, okay? And a lot of things here that uh, were, in a way, too much to handle here. And this tower moment occurred. Now, some of you right now, at this moment in time, are in this energy here of the Eight of Swords. This is telling me here that this energy is all about you kind of feeling stuck, though, in regards to your love life. And the reason why this may be happening, you guys have a lot of swords here, uh, a, you know, a lot of metal here, uh, both in your past and your current energy here with the one who battles, and again here with the Eight of uh, Swords. Now, this is telling me here that you are creating your own feeling of self-imprisonment. By the thoughts that you are thinking, by uh, the thoughts that may surface or resurface, a lot of memories that sometimes you guys bring forward into your current energy, and it's really difficult for you to kind of at times get out of that energy. Now, remember, any energy that you project is the energy that you get. So wherever the mind goes, energy flows. And if you're thinking about, and I'm going to bring this down here so you guys could see, this eight of swords has the seven of pentacles in the tower moment if your mind is always going to the past of when you were trying your best and when you were putting so much energy effort and focus and it it, it failed or it didn't work out or some type of uh, unexpected change happens here in your love life in your past or recent past if you keep thinking about this that is what's causing this type of energy for you to be stuck and in a way self-imprison yourself with self-sabotaging thoughts or fears, okay? Uh, limiting beliefs and just memories that when you go to the past, that's what energy you're conjuring up now at this present moment in time, okay? So there is this feeling here of having to fight those uh you know those memories here remember that i told you here the swords has a lot to do with the mind so i feel here a lot of you are battling this energy of thinking about the past or past memories just flooding in your mind uh at times okay all right let's take a look here single scorpio what's going on here at your up upcoming energy here upcoming energy here for scorpio in their love life what's going on here near future
All right, you have the one who yearns. There is a sense of longing, wishing, wanting, uh, desiring, even manifesting here, uh, here still in the uh, near future of something that you've always wanted in regards to your love life. I feel there's this uh, energy here of you really either pining for someone uh, that you uh, will in the, you know, in this upcoming energy uh, like there may be here a secret admirer, someone that you are interested or even uh, on the on the reverse, there may be someone here who may be pining and longing for you here in the near future. Okay, this person may be eyeing you or you may be eyeing this person observing, uh, you know, and, and for others of you, it's going to be just this energy of really being ready, being ready to move forward. Uh, in your love life. Let's take a look here. What other energies are coming up for you here in the near future? Near future energy. You have triggers. There may be some triggers here in the near future. Okay. That may, um, may be a little bit hiding inside of you. Okay. Now, remember about that admirer that I was talking to you about. Some of you are going to be triggered here by the fact that you may be a little scared of the unknown, okay? You may be longing, wishing, wanting, desiring to meet someone, but there may be here a part of here, uh, a part of you here in the upcoming future that has still a little bit more healing to do, and you may be hiding that. That's the first message that I'm getting. The second message that I'm getting here is that remember that secret admirer that I was talking to you about, which was the energy that I was feeling here with this card. This is saying here that that may be the case here for some of you. There may be someone here in this upcoming future that you're going to be interested in, but you want to keep it a, a secret or that someone is interested in you and they want to keep it a secret. Okay. Um, but like I said, there's going to be here this sense of still healing for some of you here, uh, having a lot of self-care, really nurturing yourself so that you can be, uh, uh, you know, ready for that next step in your love life. A lot of communication here. So there may be someone in the near future that you will be talking to, they'll be talking to you and you're not going to know the extent of how much they care about you or they're looking at you, not from a friend standpoint, but from a standpoint of someone that they can get to know better. Now, the storyline could go either way. That could be you or that could be the other person. So you have here the seven of cups. There is here a lot of uh, romantic wishes, a lot of thinking about love, emotions, okay, here with the seven of cups. So a lot of fantasizing is very interesting because you have two cards here from two different decks doing the same exact thing, looking at, you know, their emotions, longing, wishing, okay, wanting, hoping, and yearning for that love. You have here the Queen of Swords, so there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, uh, mental decisions, strategic uh, decisions here that you're going to have to make. You're going to have a very clear mind. So any next move that you make here, uh, single Scorpio, is going to be a move that is an intelligent move, okay? You're not going to move forward into something that is 10 of pentacles. This is beautiful. Into a, You're not going to move into a long-term commitment here in the recent, I'm um, sorry, in the near future, unless you know that it is a stable, uh, a stable energy, a stable person, that you guys are compatible, that there is this sense here of uh, you know, of love, of self-respect, of respecting you, respecting your mind, uh, and the decisions that you make. Ten of Pentacles is all about a long-term commitment here. So there may be here, uh, some situations here in your, um, current, I'm sorry, not current, in your upcoming energy that's going to really focus on really settling down or at least starting to uh, connect with someone in a more uh, exclusive way. Scorpio, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexitaro logo to be part of the Lexitaro family and click down here for more messages. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.